Hi guys, welcome to Salesforce Group, and this is the third video of our Spring 22 feature series. And in this, we'll talk about the third wire adapter that is get related list records. And this adapter is used to get the related list record. Till now, we have seen how to get the list count and list metadata, but now in this particular video or with this particular adapter, we'll see how to get the record data itself. So let's go to our VS code and create a new component. Let's create a component with the name get related list records demo. And in similar way, first we need to import the adapter. So we'll say import get related list records from lightning UI related list api then we need wire service to call this adapter so if we import the wire and then create the wire service and pass the adapter name and after that we'll pass the params and in this case again first param is the parent record id and basically this is the record id for which you want the related list so in our case this will be an account record id will pass then second is the related list id and this will be the api name of the related list so in our case it will be contacts and there will be another one that is fields which are optional but if you want a particular fields we can pass their names but we'll see that let's first call with these two params and then we are using wire as function so we'll pass the create a function name list record records handler we'll receive data and error and similar way we'll say if error print the error console dot error will print the error and if data comes console dot log json dot stringify data and let's go to the html and here we're going to create the lightning card we'll give the title and title is our get related list record demo and we'll say div class slds where padding around medium so the content not touch the border of the R card and we'll leave this empty and for deploying we'll copy paste the meta description that we have used for previous components so we are using version 54 is exposed to and two targets we are supporting right now but we can add more home home page or community pages you can add so let's deploy this now and let's go to our org and let's go and place our component to this page and let's see if our component is available here yes it's available get related list record demos so we'll place it to a second column and hit save and let's go back component is placed and let's open the debugger or inspect element let's go to the console and see if anything is coming and right now it's printing some error and to verify this error belongs to our component on the right hand side you can see the name and i know why the error is coming because we haven't passed the parent record id so let's go and do that i'll go to a contact record and i'll 
copy the record ID and let's go and paste that record ID here and now let's deploy this this will be dynamic in real time scenarios but right now for the demo purpose I'm hard coding it if you are placing your component to a record page you can get the value of the record ID like this if you are placing that in a account page otherwise you can pass it from the builder as well and many ways to pass it out you already have seen like how we are using in other wire adapters but but for the demo purpose i'm hard coding it right now so let's go and refresh the page again and see if data is coming or not so now the data is coming and let's copy the data and clear the console and paste the data and now you can see that we have a record two records available let's go to our contact and verify it again so on this particular contact we have uh, this particular account we have two contacts Bhanu Karkara and Jack Rogers so these two records should come so here it's showing us count two and we haven't passed any particular fields under the records we can see all the data is coming and here we can see the name id and further we can see the different id of the contact so both contact ids are coming apart from that in the list references we have that metadata like object api name list name let's pass the fields that we want so let's go back to our vs code and let's use our third parameter here that is an optional field i mentioned initially but if you need a particular field you can pass it here so i'll say i need contact this is the object api name and then the field name so i'll say i need contact dot name and if you need contact dot id you can pass that contact is our object name and id is our field name field api so let's deploy this and try to visualize the data again and this is an optional field but if you need the data for a particular field you have to pass the field api name and the object api name so let's go and refresh the page Sorry, we refresh the wrong tab so let's refresh the correct tab so now the let's copy the data again and try to visualize the data So now we are getting, I guess I copied the wrong data. Let me refresh it again. So I refresh it again. Actually, we have to make sure we are copying because I have the console for all previous components as well. So right hand side, I can confirm this is the component name. And I'll copy this, paste it, and now let's visualize it. So the field names are coming now here that field names we have mentioned and if we go to the record and if we go to the first record we can see our fields and under the fields we can see the values and similarly for the second record so let's try to display these data on the screen so let's go and see how it works so here i'll say let's create a property a record list initially it will be undefined and we'll say this dot related list equal to data dot and here it's coming under the property name records so we'll say data dot records and now we have a related list let's go to our 
HTML and first we'll make sure that data is available so we'll use if true directive if related list is available then only render the content and then we'll say template for each because it's returning an array we'll say run the loop on the related list so basically the record list and for item we'll say record as each item and under that we're going to print under the p tag we'll say record or dot verify what is that in each there is a fields and fields as id and value and name and value okay so let's print the name so we'll say record dot fields dot name dot value and make sure we are using the correct spelling v, v is small or v is cap n is capital so that we have to make sure and because we are using the for each loop we have to pass the key so we'll say record dot fields dot id dot value id is a unique property and we should be small here so let's deploy this and see if anything is rendering on the screen or not it's deployed let's go back and refresh the page i close the console now and let's refresh it and now you can see that we are printing both contact names bhanu karkara and jack rogers and to verify it we can quickly go back to our account record and we can see the contact name bhanu karkara and jack rogers so we successfully able to call or use the get related lists record adapter so that's it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video